Assalamu alaikum and welcome back everyone to SMJ Tech channel and today we'll be diving into Microsoft PowerPoint and uh, as we've already seen some tutorials of uh, MS Word, MS Excel and MS Project today we'll be starting off our MS PowerPoint suite and we'll be uh, starting with the uh, a tutorial video where I'll be covering an, an overall functionality uh you know a brief for you for microsoft powerpoint and what's available in it and how you can use it so as soon as we start off uh, as soon as you open a powerpoint uh, project you are taken to this particular screen where you can either create a new project or open an existing project since i've already started uh, created one slide so it's giving me other options as well to save or you know uh, export it so uh, when you start off you have the uh, the main home tab where you usually have the uh, you know word related options for clipboard for editing where you can cut copy and paste everything and uh, you can also add new slides Let's try it out uh, over here. You can, you know, add new slides, a title slide that I have already in front of me, or you can add a title and content slide. Uh, so these are different types of, uh, you know, slides that you can add to your uh, presentation. For example, uh, or you can also duplicate, uh, you know, any selected slide. So it's, it will duplicate exactly what's in place and create a new slide for you. So let's see, uh, let me try this out. So over here, I've created a new slide from this uh, button. It's all related, this section uh, you can see over here is related to the layout of slides, uh, adding new slides. You can reset the design that's in place so you can you know, reset the formatting stuff. You can uh, you know, add a section if you have a you know, long list of uh, a long list of uh, presentation slides in there so you can you know divide it in section that's a, always a good thing so you can you know uh, uh, distribute your presentation slides section by section so uh, let me um, write something over here like powerpoint slide two all right, and I'll also write down some, you know, points over here, point one, point two, you know, just to fill up the things. So you can see uh, it already has a background and, and a design in place. So these are some pre-built designs that are there in PowerPoint. As you can see, as we move forward, you will find uh, some of them, how we can get there. So before we go to that, we just covered the main home tab over here. So we saw how we can add a slide from here in the slide section. Then we have the usual editing or font related uh, activities that you can do over here. You have the fonts, you can you know have their size increase or decrease. You can have them bold, italic, as you, you're already aware of uh, what you can do, similar to Word. So these are all the same functions. Also related to the paragraph, you can uh, you know add bullet points. You can center line, left line, stuff like that. So it's similar to what word formatting you've uh, already seen in my previous videos. So uh, if you want, you can see uh, the I, I card over here uh, up front. Where you can see uh, which which part of uh, formatting uh, I am talking about. So uh, apart from that, you can convert to Smart Art. You can add drawings if you want to, you know, create a diagram or insert a diagram into your presentation. You can use this block. You can arrange your, uh, you know, your diagram, your shapes that are there on the slides. You can define quick styles like this, like so. You can see like i'm just hovering over them so it's changing in real time and uh, you can you know shape fill shape uh, you know 
recolor the outline. So everything that you have already seen in the Word formats is already there in uh, PowerPoint as well. You can also find text, replace, select. So it's all there in the Home tab. So it's pretty much similar to the Word Home tab, apart from this small section. The remaining items are more or less the same. Uh, then let's move on to our next tab. We have the insert tab, uh, which is an important one in uh, PowerPoint since usually you're, you know, inserting items or inserting your content into your presentation. So this is one important tab that usually, uh, you know, gets to be used. Over here again, we have the inside uh, slide insertion options over here. You can insert new slides and uh, that we saw in the home tab as well uh, you can insert tables the the, the ones like we use in uh, word as well and we have this uh, you know insert picture options over here as well that we covered in microsoft word uh, you can see my video on uh, inserting pictures online and local videos and on local devices so uh, I, i'll also add the link in the description and you can you know go over there and see how it's done i'll cover this on for uh, for powerpoint as well apart from that we have you know screen so screenshot options that you might have taken already some time ago you can capture the screen that's right there in front of you or you can also use recently uh, taken screenshots or you can start a new photo album you know kind of thing you can select the uh, photos and you know clear, create a slideshow for your uh, for your photo album so that's something interesting that's given you can create a beautiful presentation for your uh, videos or for your pictures sorry then uh, you have the uh, new option to insert shapes that we also saw on the home tab it's something similar to that one you can insert icons you can see over here it has a vast list of uh, icons available which you can use we can um, you know go over these on some other videos so you can have a detailed overview of how to do that and uh, there's one interesting feature that they have added uh, in uh, 2019 and onwards is the addition of 3d models i'm sure uh, i don't i'm not sure which version they started in from but i i'm quite sure it's there in 2019 so uh, over here you can see uh, you can add 3d models i'll be doing a detailed uh, video session on this one as well how to you know uh, add or insert 3d models and then what you do with them so this is a very interesting feature that i've used and i'll be uh, you know glad to show you guys off so um, you can add smart art over here to you know make your uh, presentation attractive you can add charts and you can, you know, if you have any external add-ins, you can, you know, also uh, use them in PowerPoint. You can also, uh, you know, uh, add Zoom, which you can, you know, yeah, you, you allow you to, you know, uh, make your content more prominent. You can add links over here. You see, uh, since I hadn't clicked any uh, any text box, so it was showing a lot of. Uh, items disabled now you can see them so you can add hyperlink you can add action uh, based on whatever you select you can add comments uh, for example if you want to comment add a comment to your pr presentation if you're sharing your cross for approvals and so, stuff like that so you can do that as well similarly you can add a text box you can add a header input as well over here similar to word and excel so it's pretty much similar to that you can add word art over here for example if i want to you know uh, simply add something over here word art example so you can use it in your presentation if you want so it also allows you to play around with that one so you can add date and time uh, in your slide if you want. Slide numbers is similar to page numbers. You can insert external objects. You can add equations. 
you know, uh, mathematical and your difficult kind of equations. You can, or if you want something like that in your presentation, you can add it from here. You can add symbols. You can also insert, uh, you know, online videos into your presentation, or you can also use one of your own videos that are lying on your PC, and you can insert it in, inside PowerPoint. And the same goes for audios. You can you know, pick an audio from your system or you can record it then there. And uh, you can also uh, use screen recording if you want to show a, show a simulation of any uh, software, stuff like that. Then uh, let's move on to the design tab, which is uh, the one which I use for creating this uh, slide you can see i selected this kind of design so this is the most uh, important tab in presentation uh, in powerpoint sorry so it basically gives you some pre-built designs that are already there as you can see i'm hovering over them it's changing in real time as well so uh, i have selected this one so you can choose any of the designs that are available if you uh, select this drop down there's uh, another list and you can browse for external themes as well so this is what basically sets the theme of your of your uh, presentation. And once you've selected a theme, you have its own variants. You can see I have this one. You can use uh, you know with one with a darker shade. So PowerPoint gives you a lot of options with colors. Uh, you can choose the color of your liking. You can you know choose the fonts. You can choose the effects. You know so there are a lot of things that. Uh, uh, it gives you option for you have you can select the background and you can format it so very interesting features uh, this one and you then you have uh, you know the customization uh, part where you can uh, customize your presentation for widescreen or you want uh, to set the aspect ratio for four three for example so it's based on whatever uh, size you're intending to present this uh, presentation on. If you have a you know large audience and you're connecting it to you know um, LEDs and stuff like that, so you have to size it accordingly. And you can also format the background. And next, the important part we have is the transition tab. Now this is the one where it basically covers how things will change once you're moving from one slide to the, through the other by default it's set on none however for example you can set it to morph where your you know slides will morph into you know you they will morph into uh, visibility similar you have fade you can push them for example i select this random bars you can see this is how basically your slides will appear and when when they're transitioning from one slide to the other and once you select it it can also show you other options these are kind of sub options for the type you select over here so you can either show it vertically or you can show it horizontally so it's dependent on how you want to you know i want how do you want to look at then we have the timing now the interesting part about timing is basically uh, you can you know play a sound when your uh, presentation or your slide is coming up or and you can also set the duration for how long the slide will be displayed and uh, you can apply the same to every slide or you can have uh, them individually defined as well and you want to advance to the next slide on mouse click or you you know you can set a time that you automatically go to the next slide after a certain period of time that you can define over here so uh, and it also allows you to you know preview things uh, before you make the changes. This is important when you have uh, you know large slide deck uh, in your hands. So it's always good to preview things before applying to everything. Then we have the animations. Uh, this is basically uh, where you can define how each uh, item within the slide uh, will appear. The first the difference between transition and animation uh, people get confused that they seem like similar things but the main difference is transitions apply on slides so it's one slide to the other or the slide itself animations apply to items within the slide so whatever happens in one slide 
you apply it through animations. For example, I want this, you know, point to appear. So that's how it's going to look. I want it to fly in. So this is uh, some interesting stuff. So I'll be covering, uh, I'll be doing, uh, you know, a detailed video on animations itself. So it's just a vast area over here. So we'll be covering on these items you can see there are a lot of items over here so it's a lot to uh cover over here and we can add animations you can see the animation pane you can also you know define times uh, of how long do you want this duration to last then we have the, the slideshow that's where uh the, everything comes together this is the thing that you have been preparing your presentation for you know showing it to a people so this is the tab where this, uh, you know, the cool stuff goes on. Uh, you can uh, define whether you're, whenever you're starting a slideshow uh, and you're, you've done with your PowerPoint, uh, with your presentation, you start, every time you start a slideshow button, you start from beginning. You can configure that or you can pick a specific slide and define that whenever a you know, slideshow is started, it should start from this particular slide. Then uh, if you want to present online, you can do that as well. That's cool. Then we have, uh, you know, you want to define your own custom slideshow. So you can define, you can, uh, how you want to show your slides in which pattern and which sequence. So that's something that uh, PowerPoint gives you option for. And uh, over here, it's, it's, it's the setup part. This is where you define everything. You're setting up the stage. You want to know, uh, you want to tell Microsoft PowerPoint how you want to show your slideshow. You can, uh, you know, choose to hide some of the slides, you know, too much to show maybe. So you can choose your slides and hide them away. So whenever they're, you're presenting, uh, you're, you're running your slideshow, those slides won't be uh, displayed. Though they though they may lie in your slide deck, but they won't be displayed during slideshow. That's so that's one interesting feature as well. Then you can rehearse timings. You know, people who you who are uh, very uh, you know keen on timings while presenting. So they they time their presentations actually. So they know that they'll be talking five minutes on one slide, ten minutes on the other. So they plan their presentations according to the timings, and uh, you know this is where they rehearse that. And you can also record your slideshow. So once it's presenting, you can also record it for future references. You want to give it uh, for your trainings or stuff like that. You want to play narrations, use timing. So you can choose how do you set up your slideshows. And uh, this is where you choose where to show your slideshow. It's, it will be your monitor or some other part. And uh, use presenter view will be covering this as well in the future. What's this all about? So this is where basically uh, you choose uh, to see uh, what, what will be shown on your screen and what will be shown on projector. Then we have the review tab. Uh, it's uh, again similar to Microsoft Word where uh, you have the proofreading part over here where uh, you have spell checks thesaurus uh, thesaurus if you recall i covered for microsoft word as well uh, you can see uh, it's a uh, link in the i icon above so um, uh, where i covered what thesaurus is all about so it's similar to that in powerpoint as well we have the accessibility options uh, enablement over here. You can use Smart Lookup, then language related options over here where you can you know, translate if you have something in other language in your uh, presentation. You can choose uh, you know, the proofing language to use. You can add comments and you can you know, review the comments as well. And uh, you can use comparison if you have multiple slides that you want to compare our presentations. And uh, similarly, you can also link it to OneNote. That's something I'll cover sometime in the future. Uh, so this is the review tab. Then we have the view tab. Now the view tab is slightly different than the other uh, applications uh, because over here you can see a layout kind of thing that what kind of presentation views you can see. You can see. This is the normal view that you guys see right now. 
Then we have the outline view where it's more expanded. Uh, you know, the overall structure of your slides is shown in a more expanded manner. Then we have the slide sorter view. This is where your all slides uh, in the slide deck will be shown by you uh, in box form. And if you're planning to create, you know, kind of notes, uh, kind of stuff and training slides, then where this is where you use. You have your uh, main content of slides shown up uh, on the above box, and you have a lower box on the page where there are all the written stuff and the, you know difficult stuff written over there. Uh, then you have the reading view. So these are different kind of views that you can use to see uh, how your presentation is uh, you know shown to you when you're working on it. Then we have the slide master. This is where you set, uh, you know, uh, stuff like background images and stuff like that. Uh, then you have the ruler, grid lines, guys. So these are all usual view stuff. You can see the view direction. So when you're viewing stuff, you right to left, left to right, depending on which language you're using. And uh, you can, you know, size it to fit to window zoom in you can use color you know grayscale you know or you can go back to the color days and other stuff is similar to what other applications have you know cascading and arranging splitting so switched windows so this is all there as well so this was a, a brief overview and a quick overview i would say for Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, it's a Kickstarter for our upcoming videos where I'll be covering each and every feature in detail. And I'll be looking forward to your uh, participation in that as well. So keep liking the videos. And uh, as I said earlier, do subscribe to the channel so it's uh, easier for you to be notified uh, whenever I start covering a new option in a in in either of these uh, applications or start a new application itself until our next video take care of yourself and allah hafiz